Ever have your eyes tested? Look at this. Can you spot the difference? What is the difference? Is that the only noticeable difference? Which one is larger? Huh? That one? What if I was just go like that? How is that now? Is that magic? No, not magic, because surely we don't really believe in magic. It is an optical illusion, isn't it? An optical illusion. You see, one appears to be bigger than the other, but when you put one on top of the other like that, they're exactly the same. And can I ask you, your local woman here, uh, when's the last time you had your eyes tested? I would say maybe even a few moments ago. Now, can you hold this little microphone? I've got a few questions I'd like to ask you. Okay, just hold it there or put it onto your coat. Okay, look, I'll help you here. This is going to be useful for us to uh, just put it on there like that. Okay? Now, you see, the reason why we do about the eye test is this, okay? People value their eyes, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay. That's clever. I yeah. used to use What do you see there? Oh, an old woman and a young woman. Very good. So a lot of people, they, don't, they only see one or the other. <laughs> and how about this one here? Perhaps you could try to answer that one. Dead eat it. I used to use that when I was... Oh. I, I taught using that. Did you? Okay. Uh, it's greater than God, worse than the devil. That's a riddle that has stumbled, stumbled no, a few people. No, no, that I can't guess. Okay, the maths one is a tricky one as well. Uh, 1,000 plus 40, 1,040, 2,040, 2,050, 3,050, 3,090, 3,000, uh, 3,100. Correct. Now, you sound like you were a school teacher, am I right? I was. Okay. Now, I asked you about these cards, okay? I appreciate it. It's okay, now, do you value your eyes? Oh, yeah. How much value would you place on your eyes? Not putting money on it. Okay, but supposing no, someone was... I wouldn't put money on it. Oh, no. I've asked this to people. I've said, it, if someone was to offer you a million for one of... Just, just one eye. Just one eye. Not even for a million? Ten million? No price. Okay, that's good. I don't think I would do. I would sell my eyes. But if we, if we're, have you ever heard that statement? It's well known that the eyes are the windows of the soul. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? There's some truth in it. There's some truth in it. Okay. Well, the reason why I ask this is because if we value our eyes, then what about the soul, which looks like through those eyes? The question I have is this. If you value your eyes so much, how much value do you place on your soul? I've told you there's no value I'd put in my I bet you the answer you get to that mostly is 4,000. I I, that is correct. Would you say 4,000 the most is the common answer, answer. Most get? But listen, going back to what I said, I didn't ask you about the value of your eyes. I said if you value your eyes so highly that you wouldn't sell them, mm -hmm. How much value do you place on the soul? There is no value. There's on the no soul. Value high enough. On the soul. On my soul. Okay, and do you know why I'm asking that? It's because if that's true, now can I ask your name? Can I ask your name? Your name is Madeline. Madeline. Madeline, if it's true that there's no value that you could, you would never sell, you couldn't put a price on your soul, then I have to ask you this to see if it's true. How much time or thought? Have you given the high? What will happen to you when you die? Plenty. Are you sure? Because that's a very important question. More important than any of these. You know? So if you were to die today, do you know where you're going? No. I don't believe anybody knows. Okay. So let's see. I don't know if you've asked anybody, but I have. And there are plenty of people who say they hope that they're going to heaven. But there's other people, like the Apostle Paul, who was absolutely confident. And John and the disciples, they absolutely were confident where they were going, weren't they? And we can have the same confidence if we put our trust in Jesus Christ. Um, see? 
I believe completely. It's true. You believe completely? That there is an afterlife. Okay. That does not take away the fact that I have not got any human proof of it. Do you have the scriptures? Okay. This is what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Does he offer us eternal life? Did Jesus offer and give us eternal life if we're believers? Oh, yes, I believe. See, and yet you're saying you don't know. Because I am. You have human. your doubts, Mary? I am a human person. I know that. I wasn't I wasn't thinking otherwise. And as such. Yes, I have said that I believe totally in what Jesus Christ said. I believe it. That does not give me doesn't in any way to me what I've said to you that I still have no idea okay. what eternal life means. I know it means to live on and on forever in a perfect state which is great sounds like a great thing but if you were to ask me the same question I would say confidently not based upon anything I've done I would base my confidence on what Jesus Christ has done see and that's the difference there's some sort of a disconnect there, isn't there? If you say so. Well, there is. You said you believe, but you don't know. Okay. Hello, hello. I got three boys. Want to answer some questions? It's easy enough. All you got to do is stand right there, because this is on a YouTube video. Okay. A hidden camera. Well, it's not really hidden. And one of you can take the microphone and pass it along. Have you done this before? No. Okay. Where are you guys from? Uh, we're local, Clarny. You're local. Well, okay. Hold it a little bit like here. Okay. Not too far away, but well, that's fine. Yeah. No, you can answer any of these questions you like. And if you're not able to answer it, you pass it on to the next guy, maybe he could answer it. Um, Which one are you going for? What do you see in that picture there? Oh, I think I've seen it before. There's, you ever seen it before? You see uh, it now, right? Yeah. What do you see? I see a, a posh lady. Oh, a posh lady. All right. She's real posh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? You can pass the microphone on if you use. Yeah. Remember, you're being recorded. Now you only see a posh lady there, yeah. What do you see? Uh, how many ladies can you see? He saw a posh one lady. One or two. Was Just she two. young or old? Uh, Young-ish. Young, young, young. Middle age. We'll give okay. middle age. We'll give middle age. Ah, she's about twenty. Yeah. <laughs> and you see, she's a wig. The wig behind she, her. Has she got a collar on her neck? Yeah. Sort of, what if that was someone's mouth? What would that would that change the picture a bit? Oh shit! <laughs> oh gee. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I oh, think shit. what you're saying is that there's more than one person there, right? Yeah. And yeah. actually, you're saying two women. Yeah. Yeah. Old one, young. How would you like the? Yeah, you know, I thought I was getting her. Got the other one. Anyway, next question. You can answer this one here. Do you have an answer to the riddle here in the middle? What is greater than God? Oh. Worse than the devil? The dead eat it, and the, the living eat it. They die. Do you, have, do you have an answer? Oh, uh, I don't know. Wouldn't know about that one now. No. And your name, what's your name? David. David. Jack. Jack. Oshin. 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 Yeah. yeah. So you don't have any answer to that. Nothing comes to mind at all? No. no. Nothing at all nothing comes at to all. mind? No, no, no. The word nothing doesn't have, have any part to do with this? No. Nothing comes to mind whatsoever when you're no. answering this question? No. 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 So what is worse than what is greater than God? Nothing, nothing. comes to mind. No. No. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. What's worse than the devil? Nothing. 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 The dead eat. Nothing. nothing. And if the living eat. Oh no. Nothing. nothing. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, and, the, nice. and this question here. 2040. 2040. 2050, Hold it up, Mike. I can't hear you. What you're saying at all. Um, three thousand and one hundred. And give the answer. Uh, give the microphone to your friend. Uh, is it Jack? Yeah. Uh, three thousand one hundred. Now, don't 1, give him the answer because you could be wrong. 1, we don't want to be passing on wrong information. 
Because a lot of people give a different answer than what you get. Okay. One thousand forty, one thousand two thousand forty, two thousand fifty, three thousand and fifty, three thousand and ninety, four thousand. Okay, next. No, 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 no. <laughs> three, <laughs> three, three thousand one hundred, oh, three thousand one hundred. Uh, either two are right or two could be wrong. We we we'll have to find. Three thousand one hundred. Uh, one thousand forty. Uh, two thousand forty, two thousand fifty. Uh. Two thousand, three thousand. Yeah, let's go down three thousand one hundred. Yes, and do you know what the most common answer given is four thousand. Four thousand. <laughs> okay, and then the, what I try to capture on video is that look on someone's face when they realize, oh, how did I get that wrong? But yeah, people yeah, make yeah. mistakes. There's a one more. I didn't show this to other people who were here. Uh, you can try this one. Uh, each one of you can try this one here. We don't know the word in the triangle. Say? Read out loud what's written in the three triangles as quick as possible. Paris in the spring, bird in the hand, once in a lifetime. Pass it on. Paris in the, the spring, bird in the, the hand, there once in a lifetime. There you go. <laughs> and we won't go on to the next one. We'll give you the opportunity to do the final test. This is the yeah. final test. Now, this is a tricky one, but you're going to have to see who can give the quickest answer to this one. Read what is written in that box or phrase in the yellow, within the yellow line. Finnish files are the results of years of scientific study combined with the experience of years. Okay, now what we're asking is you to count how many times the letter F appears within that sentence. Okay. Uh, Pass it on if you have the answer. Uh, just, I don't know. Um, two. Two? Yeah. Okay, no, three. Three. Three? <laughs> yeah. Pass it on to Jack. Um, That's very slow, very slow. Three. Three, yeah? yeah? Three. Okay, you're going to say three? Yeah. Do you know what the most common answer is? Three. I reckon it's four. It's fun. I reckon there are six, six, but you missed a few of them, didn't you? And I know which ones you missed. I know, for example, that you missed that one. Oh, yeah. And oh, that one. Oh. And that one. <laughs> These are brutal, like this. No, is there a reason for what I'm doing here today? Have you ever seen someone out doing this kind of thing? And what I'm actually doing is preaching the gospel. Do you see any connections whatsoever? Um, not everything's all as you. Not everything's all as you uh, as you see it. Like. Yeah, correct. Uh, and uh, you know what? I've sometimes even asked this question: Have you ever read the Bible before? And the people go, "Oh yeah, of course I've read it." Yeah, Could yeah. you have missed the message? Yeah. Could you have missed something? Maybe it's not what you thought it was saying at all. Uh -huh. That type yeah. of thing. And so I use that as a sort of springboard, not to, for me to speak, but to hear what you have to say, because that's very important, right? Yeah. So, uh, in a nutshell, what is the gospel? It's in the Bible. What is it, though? It's the kind of word of the Lord. Is that all you know? Okay, that's fine. That's fair enough. Okay. Uh, it, no, put it over to Jack. Jack, is Jack there a God? Um, sorry? Is there a God who oh, yeah. created all things? Okay. Over like to uh, David. David. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to? Do you believe the Bible to be the Word of God? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you read it? A bit of it. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand what the message overall is? I'd say so. Okay. And in a nutshell, what is the gospel? Be kind to your neighbor. Be kind to your neighbor. Okay. So, is there anyone who does that? Actually, fulfilling doing that? I'd say so. Yeah. Okay, because when Jesus was asked a question one time, what is the greatest of the commandments? He says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. That's the first one. And love your neighbor as yourself. The only problem is, do we do that? Especially when, if have you ever lied before? Yeah. Okay, is that loving your neighbor? And I don't mean your next door neighbor. Yeah. Right? And if someone murders someone, that's not loving your neighbor. If someone's cheating on this wife, that's not loving your neighbor. So who's my neighbor, someone will ask. It's anybody, really. Yeah. Yeah. Is that really the message? All you got to do is just love your neighbor. And if you do that, you earn yourself a place in heaven. Is that really what it's about? Not really, it's Because if that was the truth, okay, Jesus didn't need to come to earth, did he? Because he could have said, why would I go down there and get beat up and killed? Why would I do that? Okay. He came to this earth lived on earth as a perfect man without ever breaking one of God's laws, okay? And yet he was put to death in the face of sinners, okay? Right? So that 
he could say, I'll take their guilt and sin upon myself, but I'll give to them the life that I've lived, the perfect life. So that instead, when you stand before God on Judgment Day, instead of saying, here's what I've done, I hope I've done enough, you can say, I know I've not done enough, I know I've never, I would never have scored high, yeah. but I trust in what Jesus Christ did for me. He took my place. He gave me his righteousness in place of my sins. And I'm putting my trust in him. I'm like when they say in gambling terms, I'm all in. I'm, I'm, I'm 100% trusting in Jesus Christ. Yeah. And if, if he's not enough, then there's nothing I can do. Yeah. See? So the gospel is in a nutshell, Jesus Christ came to this world, lived for a, lived a perfect life, died on a cross, rose again the third day, and has triumphed over death, hell, and the grave. That's good news, especially since everyone on this earth is going to die, right? We're all under the death sentence. Yep. But is there more to come after this? There certainly is. The Bible says, it is appointed unto man to die once. And after this, the judgment. Okay? So those who hear the gospel, they put their trust in Jesus Christ. They turn from their sinful ways and they said, I want to live for Jesus Christ and live for God all the rest of my life. That means that when they're dead, their bodies are dead, they're waiting for the resurrection. When one day God will say, arise, we get a new body, which is not subject to death, and we live forever in paradise with God. I mean, who's going to turn down an offer like that? <laughs> okay, so my final thing for you today is, if that is the gospel and you hear it, what will be your response to it? How would you respond to that? If, if he said, if he was standing before you and said, put your trust in me today, would you do it? Yeah. Okay, Jack? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, would you? Okay, yeah. now how would you go about doing that? I mean, he's not standing in front of you right now today. I'm only here preaching the gospel. But if you were to go home to your own rooms and homes like I did when I was, what did you guys? 18. I was 17. Yeah. I was in my own bedroom and I prayed, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Um, I want to give my life over to you. I want to put my trust in you, Jesus, and I want you to change me completely. And I live my life, the rest of my life for you. See? And on, on, I think it was on the 10th of June, 1985, that's when I became a transformed person, changed by the power of God to become a Christian. And I've been living that way since that time. Okay. What you need to do is something like that. Okay. Don't put it, don't copy my words, but in your own words. Okay. So listen, you can take some of these with you. Uh, that's the IQ tests. So you can have, you can have one of them you. if you wish. That's that one there. If you wish, you can have, uh, Different one if you, you take make one. any conversions. I don't know. I don't do that. <laughs> Where are you guys from? The north? Dublin. Oh, Dublin, Dublin. hello. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? Oh, my God. Well, um, I, yes. What is conversion? I'm this one here. I don't know. Are you related? No. No, I didn't come here. What him? No. <laughs> I don't know about converting. I mean, this is a, something that God does when maybe when we're alone from the crowds sometimes, and maybe yeah. God just says, "Remember what was spoken to you today. You need to put that into practice." You know? Our son is a minister. Yeah. Where is that now? In Dublin. In Dublin. And what church is that? Born again Christian. Are yeah. Born again. Are you born again yourselves? I'm born again. Huh? Catholic. Born again. Catholic. Catholic. Roman Catholic. Yeah. yeah, well, the, the, the Roman Catholic Church teaches something that most Roman Catholic... You guys got to go. That's no problem. Okay, now listen, because uh, we're recording that for the camera, you see. I was trying to get some of this on camera. But you see, the Rome, most Roman Catholics do not know what the Roman Catholic Church teaches on that particular thing. Yeah. Say, for example, if, well, I say being born again. It's It sounds like a foreign concept, right? But actually, according to Roman Catholic theology, it's what happens when a child is baptized at birth. Right? So they believe that when they're baptizing you in water, yeah. that your original sin is done away with. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, Does yeah. the Bible teach that? I don't think so. And where's the, where's the evidence of the change? Like the child grows up like any other child. You know what I mean? So the fact of the matter is that being born again, we can't even produce that ourselves. We can't produce it. It is something God does in a person who is dead toward God not interested I think these guys could have been absolutely not interested whatsoever but god could just spark something within them that brings them life that's yeah. what, that's yeah. been yeah. now listen i'm not going to take up too much yeah. of your time 
We have a bus to catch for yeah. down to Glen Eagle. Oh, very good. And thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. And God bless you. And you too. Okay. All right. I come here. You're right in what you're saying. Yeah. But spark off. It's amazing. Okay. No problem. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Oh. I've got a question for people. Have you done this before? Yeah. No. I think I've not. I might have met one or two of you before, right? No. We have any. We got any, these uh, questions. We are trying to record it for our YouTube channel, of course. So if you don't want to be on YouTube, then you might want to skip along. Okay. Well, I've got a question. You can answer any of those questions you want. I don't expect there's any particular spokesperson, is there? But usually you find the one who's the most vociferous. You know what that word means, right? <laughs> loud spoken. Who's the who's the loud who's the loud mouth amongst you? Me. She's got her own YouTube channel there going. Huh? What? Okay. So I'll cut it let me cut down the time here a little bit because you may have a bus to catch. I don't know where you're all from. Where you all, what? Okay. Well, so as you'll know, there's there's several questions here. You can try to answer them. You're probably standing a bit too close because it, it can, yeah, you know. I know we're not in COVID times, but like seriously, we should have learned a lesson from that, right? Now, I'm actually going to do a few things. One of them is, has anyone anyone need to have their eyes tested? Okay. How about this? Someone can answer with the microphone. Okay, 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 now look at these two cards and tell me if you can spot the difference. Yeah, but they're a different color. Is that the only difference? Now hold the microphone. Um, the, the size is different. Which one's, what's the difference like? The red one's smaller, right? The red one's smaller. If I said the words abracababra, which is the name of a restaurant. Right, how's it done there? I know how you did it. You flipped you them around. You turn around, you turn around. Turn around. Show me proof. Basically what you're doing is you're holding them one side, squeezing it in. Wait, do it again? Go on again. Record that on video and oh, check yeah, it out. It's so, if I said abracab, it's not really abracababa. It doesn't do anything, does it? I know how you're doing it. It's just, just pieces of cardboard. Wait, behind the blue one, there's a red one, and you're holding on oh, to it yes, and switching yes. it out. Of course there is. Of course there is. You can see that, yeah. Oh shit. Yes. Uh, these oh, are just sorry. two pieces of cardboard. It doesn't like. See how you have your phones, but you can't do that on your phone. No. But this is. An optical illusion, okay? You see, because they're exactly the same size. Is that the yes, that's a, they're exactly the same size. Correct? Now, speaking of eyes, do you value your eyes? Yeah. How much value would you place on just one of your eyes? Like, say someone from uh, Japan, and he's an eye surgeon, he says, I can take out your eye, and we'll sell it on eBay. And we can get you maybe maybe a million for it. Would you sell one of your eyes for one hundred and fifty grand? I'll take you it do. Out. Is that all? Yeah. Gosh, a, so one eye, one, one, one eye, eye. you're cool. Well, you lose the other eye. Both of them, right? Like, if you lost one after you gave the other one up for sale, see, it's not a wise move, is it? No. How many of you would sell one of your eyes? You sell an eye for twenty euro. Oh, how much? Uh, a million. million. Not a lot of people would do that. Okay, what about both eyes though? Ah, see, not both eyes. Oh, no, 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 not both eyes. Okay, do you value your eyes? Obviously. Yeah. Have you ever heard the expression? This is probably an older expression. The eyes are the windows of the soul. Ever heard that before? No. Well, you've heard it now, right? If that's true, and you value your eyes so much, I'm asking this guy, what's your name? Adam. Oh, Adam? Uh, yeah. Okay. If you value your eyes so much, how much value do you place on the soul? Now, you can all answer that question. How is that my life? Yes, your yeah. life. Million. Million? Is that it? Yeah. Sure. Just give it to your mother or can something. You can, yeah. I don't know if you can or not. You can try. Five thousand. Uh, Five thousand. Pin oh, that onto your zipper there. Yeah, pin onto your zipper. <laughs> <laughs> or hold in your hand, whatever you like. Five thousand. Don't hold too close. Oh, that is the most ridiculous answer I've heard all day. What? It's five thousand. How do you start with one? There's no subtraction there. <laughs> It doesn't say subtract, does it, or divide? I don't know how you came up with 50. I'm not a comedy comedian, by the way. I'm just doing this. I'm standing on a little small stage. I'm not on a big stage. 4,000. 4,000 at last. That's the most common wrong answer. Five, it's 5,000 so. Well, if you need to. I mean, I wouldn't have expected that. 4,000 is the most common wrong answer, okay? 
Yeah. Now, what is the right answer? 5,000. So I was asking about the eyes. If you value your soul so much, you should value it more than your eyes that looks out. You look out through the eyes, yeah? If you value your eyes, you certainly should value your soul. And my question is, if you value your soul so much, my question is, how much time or thought have you given to what happens to you when you die? Ever thought about that at all? Yeah. No. Okay. No. And what's your answer? Give me the microphone. We go to heaven. We all go to heaven. Okay. So the guy goes and kills a few people. And he goes, I'm going straight to heaven. We're going to heaven. I yeah. just blow myself up. We'll all go to heaven. Uh, Everyone goes to heaven. I won't, I won't blow myself up, though. Hitler's in heaven. Everyone's in heaven. Some Mass people go to heaven. heaven. Some people go to heaven. Oh, like... DC, you, didn't, you, you didn't say that. But do you think we all go to heaven or hell? Mixed, like. And how would you know? Would you like to know in advance? I, I'd like to know in advance, yeah. How would you know? How, how you act, like. Oh, it's how you act. Like if you commit sins and everything, you go to hell. We all commit sins. That is true. What if somebody lived a perfect life as best they could, I mean, all their life, and at the very last, they did something terrible. Would that mean that's it? You've blown it? No. Or what if they've done all, bad all their life and then said, I did one final act of goodness. Hopefully that will tip the scales in my favor. No, because they're only doing that to try change for themselves. Or what if it wasn't dependent upon how good you were? Because if we all were trying to be as best as we could, we'd all feel. Yeah. What if you said, I wish I could have a perfect life before God? <laughs> nice well, there's only one person who ever lived a perfect life, and that's Jesus Christ. What if True. he says, instead of you trying to boast of how good you've done, let me give you what I've got, and then you can stand before God, trusting not in yourself, but in Christ. See, that's why he came to live and die for us. Yeah. You understand? So we need to... Put her trust in Jesus Christ and turn from her always. Yeah, well, that's that one there. What's the YouTube channel called? Oh, Living Rock Church Killarney. Who? Living Rock Church. Yeah. Yeah. Now, answer this one here, okay? What is a thousand plus 40? Thousand bucks. Correct. Thousand so it's definitely not 50. No, nah, but I added it all up. Why do I <laughs> came to 50? It's just impossible. Like. I added it all up. It's not possible, eh? It's 4,000. Well, let's see if that's true. Let's that's see. the most common round. What is 1,000 plus 40? Here's a minute. 1,000 plus 40. Okay, now add another thousand. Two thousand five. Now add ten. Two thousand fifty. Two thousand fifty so far. No. Two thousand fifty so far. Now a thousand more. Three thousand fifty. Correct. Three thousand fifty. Add forty. Three thousand ninety. So so far it's three thousand and ninety. So far that is the right answer. Three thousand and ninety plus ten. Four thousand. No, two. Three thousand one. So how'd you come up with 4,000? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. So do you understand? Yeah. Oh man. These are great questions. We've got a couple more. Oh, this one, I think you'll like this. No, I think what? I'll tell you what. I think you might like this one. And see who can come up with the quickest answer. Read it out loud. What's written in the three triangles? You can Paris keep that. Spring, spring. Bird bird in the hand once in a lifetime. Okay. So, is that what it right? What, what did you say again? Paris in the spring, bored in the hand, once in a life. Since when did you learn to read? I could read all the time. No, you, you read that wrong. Does anyone else want to have a go at it? Paris in the spring. Out you, loud. Out loud. Yeah, yeah. Out loud. Yeah. Out loud. No, give That's her the mic. Out loud. Read out loud. Okay, no. Out oh, loud. What is written in the three triangles? Oh, Paris, Paris in the spring. The, the, oh, the, 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 the stutter. Oh, oh, the two oh, dogs. The two dogs. Oh, what about this one? Paris in the spring. Yeah. And, yeah. Once in a while. See how they weren't there. People make up. mistakes, don't they? Okay. And the final question. Now hold it up a little closer because you're missing it out here. Okay. And we have to have the fastest answer to this question. Let's see who can. Are you on camera here? Because we we want to make sure we capture everything, don't we? This is a yes. Combined with the experience of yours. Okay. One, two. Who is going to be the first one to give the right answer? Four. Everyone stop Five, four, three, two, one. Answers. Four. Four. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Three. 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 Four. Four, three, four. Okay. The most common answer is three. But that doesn't mean it's right, though. That's right, because there are six. There are six. What's the question? Six. Oh, sorry, oh. Finish five. There are oh. loads of years. No, you must count, like, the fun, and then... No, 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 no. She says in How the much back. words are there? How many times does the letter F Jesus, appear in this? Did you count three? Did you count four? 
Or did you count five? Or did you count six? Four. There are six, okay, and I know which ones people miss. They usually miss that one, ah. and that one, ah. and that one. Ah. I got six. Of course. No. I knew it. Why am I doing all that? Because people read things and miss what they were reading, don't they? If I was to ask people, are you on the street here? Have you ever read the Bible, for example? They'll say yes. Do you understand what was, what was being said? Yes. Uh, could you miss it? misunderstood misread it yes so i'm asking questions like that like if the bible is true have you read it for example i have not no i'm not okay sure. is it true i'd like to say so no but wouldn't it be helpful to read it Good. well why don't you do it like go home download it on your phone read it and then ask yourself some questions like hey what happens when someone dies any ideas have you read it no, i read it every day what, um, you, know, you know why because there's no book like it is there i mean let's face it a, a book that the author is god okay written by 40 different authors uh, writers i mean over a period of thousands of years and yet the person or the being who writes it gives it to us as god wouldn't you want to read that yeah i mean when you put it like that yeah, yeah. well well what does he know things that we don't know of course yeah okay and so that's why we're asking i ask people what do you think happens when someone dies people are clueless a lot of the time yeah. oh she's giving her hand up got a question hand to the microphone oh, maybe she's shy oh, do you have a son i do do you know who it is yeah yeah kevin mccann oh. kevin mccann no <laughs> why do we look the same <laughs> no, I do have a son who's 15 years old. It could be him. But his name is Steve. Oh, the son. And it's not. Oh, you have a son. Go on your thing now. Does anyone talk? Let's. Do you no. Take that, Clara. Take anyone that. Let's... No, he's not in the group. Oh, she's in here. What's next? What do people have to do? What's next? Oh, you want to ask, ask some more questions? I'll answer, I'll answer that another one. one. Wait, oh, you can do this one here if you like. This is a tricky one, of course. What does it actually say there? God is nowhere. Well, some people read things like God that. God is now here. See, two different people, two uh, different opinions. Yeah. Okay. No. Um, well, as I, you know, going by what the Bible teaches, I would say God is omnipresent or omnipresent, which means God is everywhere present in some way. Okay, so he could be right here, could he, he, he be? And he could be speaking to people about their lives. And what age are you guys? 15. 15. Well, I tell you what, I was 17 when it came to me that I need to get, I need to get right with God. I do. Because I don't know what my life has in store for me or what's going to happen to me. Will I be around tomorrow? What if I was to die today? What will happen to me? People are down the roads all the time, don't they? Yeah. There are all kinds of things happen. But what we want to know is, how can I know where I'm going? Now, if it was based upon how much of a life I've lived, how good a life I've lived, I feel totally healed. And if it depends upon a pass mark, well, what's a pass mark? Say, for example, you did an exam, right? And what it, they usually give you a pass mark, don't they? Yeah. Like, you passed. I just about passed, you mean? I got a C. And what was the pass mark? 45. Ooh. Well, if a person got, like... 90, they still passed, didn't yeah. they? But what if the pass mark on the exam, and the exam is how good a life you've lived, right? What if the pass mark is 100%? Who's going to pass it? No one. And God says, unless your righteousness, your, your life, your living, is better than the most religious person has ever lived, like these Pharisees of his day, they were squeaky clean. He says, unless your righteousness exceeds or is greater than theirs, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. You know what he's actually saying? You have to have perfect righteousness. You need to have lived a perfect life. Well, guess what? That leaves all of us saying, I, I feel then. So where does that leave us? Headed for hell, right? But this is where God steps in and says, I know that. I know that. And so here's what I've done. I've come into this world personally, lived a perfect life, and I took upon me your sins, placed them upon me, and I was crucified, 
And on top of that, God poured out his wrath upon Jesus Christ before our judgment. Then he died. Then he was put in the grave. But on the third day, he, he rose, rose again. again. And what was he doing? He says, I've risen to show you I have conquered the grave. And whoever puts their trust in me and has my righteousness, they will never face the judgment of God. So I want Jesus Christ's righteousness, and I'm trusting in him. The question is, where are you at with that? Yeah. Each one of you will have to come to the point where you say, what will I do? Jesus, I either accept him or reject him. What's it going to be? Accept. Okay, how do you do that? You go to Mass, you, you read the Bible. Well, where does it say in the Bible? You live a good mass. life, you believe they die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, Follow okay. their life of Jesus. it's not about going to Mass. Okay, it may be about going to church, that may play a part in it, yeah. but not Mass. Mass is a man made thing. Okay? Yeah. Okay, and it's not about if I've taken up bread and wine, I'm part of the Holy Communion. It's not that. It is like I got born again, I, I got changed. But it was in my own bedroom where I prayed and I said, God, please forgive me of the life I've lived. And I, I want Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. I want you to change me. And that happened in my own bedroom. And when I got up the following day, I knew that I was what is called saved. I knew that I was no longer under God's judgment, but saved. And that's where you need to be at. Yeah. So that you say, I'm not, I'm not fearful of a judgment. Everyone else ought to be afraid of the judgment to come. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Yeah. And we and the Bible says this, it is appointed unto man to die once, but after this, the judgment, there will be a judgment. And if you face that judgment on your own, on your own merits, you will fail. No question about it. It's not about, I hope my good will outweigh my bad. I hope I've done enough to tip the scales in my favor. You have to accept Jesus. Unless you've accepted Jesus Christ's offer of righteousness, you'll be trying to, it's like going into court and saying, I'm going to defend myself. You'll probably feel, yeah. right? But if you said, hey, I'm not trusting in, I mean, let's say that people did trust in how good they were, right? Wouldn't heaven be a strange place? I walk yeah. up to you, what's your name? Machine. Oh, oh, shit. I walk up to you and said, Fancy seeing you here. What? How did you get here? Oh. <laughs> I was better than other people. I, my good, I was such a good person. I earned my way in here. That's basically what I'm saying. But if you That's really, not what he wants to but do. yeah, if you really went to heaven and met, say, a former prostitute, former murderer, a former this gang member, and you say, Why are you here? And he says, Well, I'm here simply by the grace of God. It was nothing I did, nothing I could do. I put my trust in Jesus Christ, and He changed me. What? Which one do you think is the right one? The second one. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. And yet, there's so many people bound up in religion who think that you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to jump through enough hoops. Uh, you know, um, and that's why the whole religious system of Catholicism is: if you were from birth and go through the communion, do go through all the hoops, and if you stay in good fellowship and communion with the church then your church will basically save you it it's your safeguard whereas it's not a church that died for you it's jesus christ who died for us okay and that's why it's a personal thing between us and god right so you're not going to be able to stand and say well my friends said this my friends said that and i was going by what they said you're going to be the one standing before god on, on judgment day face it i mean i wouldn't want to be standing before god trying to make excuses as to why I did this and why I did that. I stand before God and I said, I know I've done all those things. I, I turned away from those things, but I thank you that Jesus, you took my place and the judgment of God in my place and you give me your life and I'm not afraid of the wrath to come. So what are you, what I would do, do it exactly what I, well, not exactly, but you do it in your own words. Say a man was on a sinking ship, right? And he sees a boat going past. Yeah. And someone says, shout out for help. And he goes, I, what way will I put, what way would I word it? Uh, do I have, is there a certain way I should say it? No, you just shout. Like, you just cry out, don't you? <clears throat> don't yeah. say, well, no, no, you didn't say it in the right way now. Can, can, rework, can you reword that? From your heart, you just cry out to God and say, God, please help me, forgive me, change me. And he'll do it. Okay. But it's all down to what Jesus Christ has accomplished for us at the cross and how his life is perfect before God. And he's offering that to you.
as a gift. Okay, the gift of God is eternal life. I did that in my bedroom. As I said, I cried out to God. I said, please forgive me. I know I've lived a, a terrible life, but it was still, I could turn out bad, right? And I asked you to cleanse me, forgive me, make me a new person. And I knew, for, I knew by faith that I had received life. And all that sense of guilt and condemnation was gone. Okay? But up until that point, the, I wasn't looking for God. See you guys, like most people, you're not looking for God. I guarantee you that. No one's looking for God. No one's searching for God. And that is why God is the one who comes searching for us. In the Garden of Eden, for example, when they, man and woman sinned, they didn't say, oh, we've done terribly bad things here. We've taken from the tree that we're not supposed to eat from. We'd better go and find God. Right? He, might, he must be around here somewhere. And let's see if we can find us. It's a game of hide and seek. You know, could be behind that bush. Where is God? That's not what happened. It says this. They knew that they'd done wrong and they hid themselves. And God is the one who came walking in the garden, calling out, Adam, where are you? As if he didn't know. Where are you? Because God is the one who comes seeking, looking for us. And perhaps that's happening today. He could be seeking here today and saying, you, 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 you. I'm calling you to myself. And I want you to put your trust in Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to do. Any questions? Nothing at all. I'm shocked. Huh? Shocked. <laughs> shocked. Why are you shocked? But just good life yeah and you don't hear that sort of thing in mass, do you? no you don't no. and do they even encourage people to open their bible to see whether no. what is being said is true no. you need to do that now as i said we do have a youtube channel it's called living rock church Killarney, and uh we take some of the stuff that is being recorded if it's suitable and upload it and um we also have a church that is in Killarney, um where we meet in the mon school you know where that is sure where are you all from Cork. Oh, from Cork. I see. Well, I'll tell you what. If you're, if you were to go, if you were free on a Sunday morning, okay, in Cork, you should try to turn up at a little church called Calvary Cork. I don't know where they meet, but if you Google it, I'm sure you find Calvary Cork, okay? Because there they do preach the gospel, and there you do hear of people who have had a life-changing experience. As for us, we are here in Killarney, okay? So good to hear from you all, and hopefully this will be uh, a life-changing moment for each of you. But it's down to the in each of you individually. Okay, what's your name? Oshin. Oshin and Cloda. Huh? Cloda. Cloda. Michelle. Michelle. Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> and Adam. Adam. Sam. Sam. Very good. Well, it's nice of you to stop by, okay? So thank you. Right, thank you. Don't forget to look up the Thanks channel. Check up the channel now, okay? God bless.